Okay, boys. All right, we have 45 seconds left in the examination. Please concentrate. Think about the words that you are reading. Do not let anyone distract you. Thank you, Brian. Jacobs, do you know the vocabulary? Get on the train, boys. Die yourself. SAT preparation is a scandal. Father, Father, I'm not going to argue with you, but in this case, you'd be wrong. There you go. There you go. There you go. I'll be back. Don't do. What?
I'm out. Why don't you look nice today? Come here. Why don't you give me a kiss? And what's for dinner, woman? Hmm? Someday, decent, I hope. I am sick of those books coming between us. Mm. Oh. books, eh? Okay. This book? This book? And especially this book. Good story. That's it. I want you out of here now. Go ahead. Sit here and take this, bitch. I wouldn't put up with it back in Paris. That's it. Commune 
I'm real sorry about what happened to your car. How was I supposed to know the emergency brake had to be on? That's ridiculous. Well, look. They said they finished draining it by this morning. You should be ready to drive. You have a swimsuit, don't you? What are you doing? Getting something to eat. I'm hungry. What? You're always in there. You ran up the bill like ridiculous. My grocery bill is outrageous. I thought you were supposed to take care of that. You were supposed to only be here a week. It's only been four months. Fred, you're going to have to get out. Hey, where's your girlfriend? You got to get out of here. You ruined my computer. You wrecked my boat. My credit's shot. And you rolled over and killed my cat with your bicycle. You happen to have a woman's brassiere? Get out! Get out right now! What are you trying to say, Harry? Get out! Yeah, so I don't think I'm going to be able to live with him much longer. Oh, well, it's a very touching story, Nico. Uh, I was wondering, uh, perhaps we should uh, maintain residence together from this point forward. What would you think about that? Yeah, I think let's do that. Great. Okay. Fred, have you seen my wallet? Hey, that's my wallet. Oh. What do you think you're doing? Paying for the pizza, but Harry, I got some real bad news for you. What? I just got myself a new roommate, so I'm gonna be moving out.
Hey, Charlie, I got your mail for you today. Yeah. You got an invitation to some party and your bank statement. And you also got a letter from an old girlfriend. She writes sexy. What, you been reading my mail? Hey, I was bored. Say. Oh, it's an invitation. So Mary Clark. Hey, he's having a crayfish foil. Wants me to go. Oh, really? What time's it start? Do you see her name on this invitation? I think not. Well, I was his roommate for four months. Of course I'd be invited. Me and Harry are good friends. All right, everybody come up here so I can explain the lab for this week. Gentlemen, we are about to enter the world of BTR. BTR? Bizarre Triscuit reaction. Now, in this lab, we're going to be basically... You know, speaking of vocabulary, boys, it reminds me of a story. It took place in 1969, Summer of Love. I was there. Were you? No, of course not. It was from Germany. I was on tour with the Grateful Dead there. And it came to pass that we sat on route to Denver, Colorado. Well, we ended up there. From there, I went by boat, made it myself, to South Carolina, Peru to be specific. Got down there, Andes Mountains. Going up there? I don't know where I'm going. Said I gotta get myself a guide. Well, okay, hired, young man. Took me up into the mountains. One day, said to me, Senor McGannon, I said, gay. All right. First, you need the Triscuits, of course. Pour out a bowl full. And then, we're going to pour a little bit of oil on it. And now, most importantly, I'm going to pass around some Q-tips. Now you all got to clean out your ears and then stick the Q-tips back in the bowl. He said, matcha. To which I replied, what? See, boys, that's the problem. That's what I'm talking about. It's the problem with the third world countries is language, lack of vocabulary. They don't know words. You see, that is what everything comes down to, is vocabulary. You gotta know it. What is this? Physics? Smell it. It stinks. Throw it out the window. Back when I was in the Air Force, you know, we used to do this on a more serious level. We'd test the velocity while they were flying out of airplanes and everything, but a lot of times the guys, you know, they'd remember the Vaseline, and, but somehow they'd forget everything else, so... They had to radio back to us and, you know, come back and get, get the Triscuits, you know, and one Triscuit leads to another and another, they get so many. Boys, that's what we have these 2961s for. A bit lighter than the dictionary, but it's got almost 3,000 words. Use them! Okay, boys, like I'm talking about words, well, let's go on to something else. Here we are. Okay, now, you've got a page on the BSAT. You're gonna look at that page. On that page, it's gonna be words. You're gonna have eyes. And behind those eyes, you got a brain. I remember coming back and getting myself into one of these boxes of these tasty Triscuits. And, you know, once you eat one, you just can't seem to stop. Wonderful, but Zach, would you happen to have a woman's brassiere? Uh, no, Mr. Nika. Brains plus vocabulary equals success. Hooray! Well, I guess we're gonna have to do without it. See, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be throwing the Triscuits out the window in this here, and we'll use the telescope to test the velocity. God damn it, Zach! It's 
not bad enough that you come in here every day smelling like shit. Mr. Glenn Melville here. How are you doing? I, I, know, I know Glenn. He's in, Glenn oh, well. he's, he's in the theology department. He's a good, good young teacher. Theology, he's a good young yeah, man. Well. What you doing? Cook in here. You know, back in England, I almost married Julia Childs. They said I was a very good cook. In the incessant yelling that we uh, hear coming from your classroom every day. My class? Um, uh, Coach Haven was walking by the other day and he heard someone screaming, cha ching. And... I don't want to argue with you because you're wrong. Oh my this, God. This, 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 see, that's not allowed. We want to get uh, come on, quiet classrooms, kids sitting in the seats, not standing on the seats, not yelling vulgarities to, to the geek next door. <laughs> Volkswagen, yep. But Charlie, tell me, what? Uh, how is it uh, living with Fred? With well, I, like I uh, said, I want to point out that we are not living together. We are sharing the same address. Oh, wow. But uh, besides, he's got a few strange habits, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and everything's going well? I mean, y'all don't have any arguments or anything? All right. Better call an ambulance. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, Mr. Melville, uh, Glenn. I need to have a little talk to you. Uh, I have a shot at this, please. Well, I, well, I, thanks, I don't, think, I don't know if you should really be doing this, Mr. Yeah, right? uh, you better get used to this. Flipping burgers, huh? Scar on your PSAT. Jeez. Because we like to have fun, but we can look at the stars and study, you know, astronomy, and, and that's fun. I like to have fun, too, but we don't have to, to worship the devil. That's right, Glenn, that's right. I mean, we can, we, we can have fun at a baseball game. We can have fun with... with, with, with May I interject here, Mr. Collard? Hello, hello, thank you. Yes, thank you. I just want to say I'm right behind this man 100%. You yeah, know, good man. The 1960s, good man. Good. there are guys like this. We looked up to them. I, 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 see, I see you guys, you're supposed to be Jesuit faculty and friends. I mean, I, I see lewd language on the left, undecent exposure on the right, or vice versa, or whatever. I mean, come on, guys. This is, this is a Jesuit party. Let, let, let's try to get our act together. Come on. We're, ask, we're asking you. We're asking you for your help. Let, let's do it. 